In this lecture, we will play through the game that we developed in this course. Let's make sure that our start screen is open in the editor. Then we will click the play button to start up our game. This will take us to the start screen. We can click on the start screen to start the game. Next, we are taken to the game's main menu. If we want to view the keyboard controls used to play the game, we can click the controls button. If we want to adjust the amount of lives or the time of the fights, we can click the settings button to take us to the settings screen where we can adjust those values. Once we are ready to start playing, we will click the 1P button to play the game. This will take us to the character selection screen. We will choose a character for P1, which we will control. Then we will choose a character for P2, P3, and P4, the enemy AIs that will be controlled by the computer. Once we have assigned all four characters, a play button will be revealed. We can then click the play button, which will take us to the stage selection screen. At this point, we can choose one of our two levels to play on. Once we have done that, the game will be started. Awesome! We now have created a game that truly resembles Super Smash Bros. Be sure to take full advantage of your character's moveset and do your best to send the enemy characters flying off of the stage. As you know, we can jump using the up arrow key, move left and right using the left and right arrow keys, and use the weak, medium, and strong attacks using the Z, X, and C keys on the keyboard. Once the time on the clock expires, the winning character or group of winning characters will be shown on the celebration screen. If we wish to go back to the main menu, we can click the play button again. If we are finished playing, we can click the play button at the top of the Unity editor to exit play mode. In the next lecture, we will look at a recap of what we learned in this section of the course.